Fortnite. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to boost FPS, fix FPS drops, and status in Fortnite brand new chapter 4 season 3 with your any PC or laptop. And these settings help you to getting 40 to 50 more FPS out of your any PC. So make sure to watch my this whole video and with this single time, let's dive straight into it. Before starting this video, here is a quick reminder, guys. If you want to improve your latency or your ping while you're gaming with just one click, so guys, make sure to download the application Gear Booster. Link available down in the description. Go there and download this tool on your PC. So guys, in the first step, we are going to refresh our Windows file. So for that, you need to go for your Windows search and search here, storage, and there you will find out delete temporary file out of your PC. Open up delete temporary files, go for show more category, go for installed app category, and make sure guys uninstall all of the apps which you are not using on your PC like Call of Duty, a calculator, the uTorrent or any other application which you are not using anymore on your PC, make sure to uninstall all those applications from your PC. Now once you're done, now close out this window. Guys, now in the next step, you need to download this Fortnite Chapter 4 Season 3 FPS Boost Pack on your PC. Link available down in the description. Open up the link from description and that will take you on to this website. And once you are here, guys, there you will find out the same article with the same thumbnail of my YouTube video you are watching right now. So open up that article and download this pack on your PC. Once you download this pack, so here you will find out these four files first here we got the best registry file second here we got uh, the game settings for your fortnite and third the pc optimization tool for the gaming and fourth timer resolution for reducing the input delay so in the first step open up this registry folder and inside here you will find out a multiple registry optimization for your processor for cpu speed for graphic speed for memory speed for network speed and the ram speed so you need to install all these registry files one by one on your pc so double tap here click yes click ok and it will automatically do everything for you and add these new registry in your windows registry editor so the same settings and install all of these registry files on your pc so once you successfully installed all of these registry files so it will guys help you to get more performance now close out this folder and in the next folder here you will find out the game settings for your fortnite so open up this folder and here you will find out two folder which is the low end pc and very low end pc you need to choose it wisely according to your pc specs or you can simply ask me in the comment section of this video which is the better for you so open up that folder and inside here you will find out fortnite config settings right click here go for show more option copy this file from here and now press windows r together from your keyboard type your percentage local air data percentage and click on this ok button now open up your fortnite folder so press f from your keyboard go for the fortnite games save config windows client and paste it here and replace your file destination once you replace here this game user setting file now close out this folder and now let's go for our next step in this step guys here we find out the pc optimization application for the optimization of our fortnite so double tap here and inside here you will find out mz ram and the park control the first application for your ram optimization and the second for your cpu optimization and these are one of the best application of its kind so double tap here and open up the mz ram xv file click ok click next 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 and simply install this application make sure to check mark on the create a desktop icon and click next and hit installed and click on the finish button and after the installation the software will keep running in your background go for your system tray double tap here and you will find out this kind of the interface now what you need to do it's most important so in the first step go for this smart optimize button click on this optimize button and this will start optimizing your ram now in the next stage you will find out the recover ram so click on this recover ram option and now here you can check it out the used ram and the free ram size click on this recover ram and this will recover all of the unused ram on your pc and guys that's it now go for the next step which is the system speed up Open up this tab and now you need to follow the same exact settings. Go for this option which is the recommended value. So click on this recommended value and this will do everything for you with just one click. So once you apply this recommended settings, now click on the supply button and this will automatically uh, apply all these tweaks. Now click OK and now after that go for the options and again follow the same exact settings also here. Go for the recommended value and then hit apply and click OK and after that simply minimize this application or close out it and this will keep running in your background whenever you turn on it. Double tap here and this will again keep running in your background whenever you turn on your PC. Now in the next step again open up the CPU optimization and there you will find out the Spark Control Setup 64. So double tap here and install this application on your PC and once you install it so there you will find out this kind of the interface and you need to guys use the same exact settings again on your PC. Go for this drop down, set this option on the bit some high performance, disable all of the settings, set all the slider on the 100%, check mark on all these boxes 
and after that click on this ok button and this will keep running in your background for the optimization of your cpu cores so once you're done now go for the next step and in this step here we find out the timer resolution for reducing the input delay so drag and drop it here on your desktop open up this application and set it on to the maximum for getting the less input delay out of your mouse and keyboard in fortnite then minimize this application and launch your fortnite for getting the lowest input delay so once you successfully installed or apply all the settings of the boost pack on your pc now in the next step guys you need to do the settings for your windows also so in the first step go for your windows icon open up your settings and go for the gaming tab and make sure to turn off the xbox game bar and turn on the game mode on your windows 10 or 11 whatever you are using and once you're done now go for the related settings click on this graphics option and make sure to go for the default settings graphics and turn on all of the settings for reducing the latency and improve the performance turn on the hardware accelerated gpu scheduling turn on the refresh rate and optimization for the windows game so check mark and turn on this option from here after that guys go back into the previous folder and add here your fortnite into this list go for this browse option go for the directory where you have installed your fortnite once you add here the fortnite xv file go for the option and set it on the high performance of your pc now hit apply and save the settings and after that close out your windows settings now in the final and the last step i'm going to show you the best settings for your gpu for the nvidia if you want if you have the amd or the intel so you can go on my youtube channel and watch the dedicated video for the fortnite best settings with the amd and apply all that settings now for the nvidia you need to go for show more option and go for the nvidia control panel once you open up your nvidia control panel go for the use the advanced resettings check mark here on this box and click on the take me there and once you into the advanced or the managed settings of the nvidia now you need to follow the settings so in the first step make sure to turn off the image scaling from nvidia control panel now scroll down find out the low latency set it on to the ultra and find out this open gl rendering gpu set it on your nvidia geforce rtx 3070 or whatever gpu you are using now go for the power management mode and set it on to the prep for maximum performance Go for the prefer refresh rate, set it on the highest available. Go for the texture filtering quality and change the settings on the high performance. Scroll down, go for the thread optimization and make sure to go for this option and turn on the thread optimization on your NVIDIA. Now after that hit apply. Now go for the next step which is the display and under there you will find out adjust desktop size and the position. Open up this option, set it on the full screen of your NVIDIA. Go for the resolution and set it on to the 1920 by 1080p or the native resolution of your uh, monitor. Now go for the refresh rate and set it on to the maximum number available on your monitor or on your PC. And then apply the settings, close out your NVIDIA control panel. And guys, one time restart your PC, therefore all the changes will completely take effect on your PC. After that, launch your Fortnite and enjoy the best performance out of your PC. I hope so you love it. Please make sure to drop a like on this video. Share your opinion about this optimization in the comment section. And until the next video, peace out.